Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. During this month, let's pray for the following intentions for all souls of the family of Chukim Saviour Fernandez, souls for whom no one to pray for by Cirilo Patricio Rodriguez and family, for the souls of Sebastio and Inacia Fernandez, for all souls by Dr. Anson, and sisters of the Rebello family by Liberator Pereira, special intentions of Rebello family. Emilia de Souza's soul, and the souls of Rosario Cardozo and Cho Cardozo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we commemorate St. Charles Bremio, a true shepherd who worked for the sheep. He was a very learned man who did doctorate in civil and canon law. And when he became bishop, he went around doing good for the spiritual growth of the people of his diocese, Milan. Today, as we celebrate his feast, let's ask the Lord that we may to grow in the company of our true shepherd, Jesus Christ. And as a special intention, let's pray for the intentions of St. Charles Seminary, all the seminarians and priests who are working there in Nagpur. And to celebrate this Mass in a worthy manner, let us call to our mind all our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. With contrite hearts, let us say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people. We ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the bishops St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother? Or you, why do you despise your brother? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then each of, each of us will give an account of himself to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I, I believe I, I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? I believe I, believe I shall, shall see the Lord's goodness in, in the land of the living. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, to inquire at his temple. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living.
Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the similar incident of eating with sinners that we found in today's Gospel, we find in Luke chapter 5, Jesus was eating with and drinking with sinners, tax collectors. And the Pharisees asked him, why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And Jesus said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And today's gospel we saw, again Jesus was eating and drinking with sinners and tax collectors and Pharisees they thought that this man receives sinners and eats with them identify himself with the sinners and that time Jesus gives the parable of lost sheep and lost coin Jesus compares these little ones sinners, tax collectors, to lost sheep, lost coins. They are precious too. Everyone who is lost is very precious to the Lord. Even if he or she is a single person, still very precious to the Lord. These little ones in the society who are considered were as least were considered as sinners 
who were put outside of the mainstream society were dear to the Lord. They are precious in His sight. My brothers and sisters, there is a lot of pain when such people are lost. When the little ones are lost. But there is much re rejoicing when they are gained, when they are restored. A lost sheep is worth more than the 99 who are secured, who are in safety. A single lost coin is much precious than all other coins which were in safe custody. Our experience also tells us that the real worth of a person or a thing is experienced when that is lost or in the absence of such person. We miss our loved ones when they are not present amidst us. So Lord, our shepherd, comes in search of such lost ones. Abandoned one, least one in the society, because for him they are precious. So my dear brothers and sisters, being lost is something human. It happens in everyone's life. At one point or the other, we experience this state as being lost. But we have a role to play. It's not just the Lord who takes initiative to come in search of lost one, but we too have to do something. That is, we must allow ourselves to be found by the Lord. We also should make some efforts that Lord may find us. Today, as we celebrate this Mass, let us ask the Lord that He may fill us with His grace and love that instead of going far from the Lord, let us come back to the Lord. Allow ourselves to be found by our Lord and thus we all may be restored once again in the loving company of our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, 
outstanding in the merit of his virtues so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works through Christ our Lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for as on the festival of saint charles you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Dominic, St. Catherine, St. Martin, St. Charles, Romeo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the words our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, who you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on this say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray may the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken o lord we pray give us that determination which made saint charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity through christ our lord amen lord be with you and with your spirit and may the almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go in the peace of christ thanks be to god Time for risking.